all going on stage in my first gig in Germany. I was running to the toilet because I, <laughs> I I don't know whether to say this. I was doing the business, and I couldn't. I and I was getting, getting called, Graham, Graham, you get on stage. I quickly run on stage and everything's burning, like my, my mouth, my, my bottom and everything. And I was singing the song, first song, like, far away, far away. And it just, everything was burning and... Graham Candy is the definition of multi-talented. He is an acoustic artist who is not afraid to mix it up, dipping his toe into acting. In this interview, you will find out how the Kiwi boy from New Zealand made such a big splash in the European music scene. I've got two older sisters and a brother, and they all kind of got into dance and music, um, singing, acting, all pretty early. And I'm, I'm the youngest, so it was kind of that, um, that whole ideology which is going, um, whatever they can do, I can do better. <laughs> so I think that was just kind of my vibe. I was like, whatever they're gonna do, I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna do it better than my siblings. I was spotted by my manager in New Zealand, uh, who was a German executive, lived in Berlin. So um, he came up to me and kind of gave me that fairy tale ticket, uh, come to Berlin and start a music career. And, uh, you know, it was too good to be true, but actually it ended up being true. So, um, you know, that's why I'm there and I fell in love with the city. And so um, I, I stay, I will stay. Just got to find my German wife, I think. How come you never tried to leave me? Me and Alifaba met, uh, we originally met through um, a guitarist from a band called Abbey and they're like my older brothers and they ended up producing my album Plan A um, and uh, he kind of said there's, there's this guy off the boat from New Zealand uh, he's got a weird, wacky voice, and Alifaban was looking for musicians to collaborate with at the time. So uh, we kind of just met together, hit it off, and for she moves, and sometimes. And uh, yeah, wasn't expecting it to happen that fast and that big, but um, it was a great, great beginning and opened many doors for me. I guess being in my first film, it was a dream. Like it was a dream come true. It's like sitting here today, being able to travel, playing music. It's it's a dream come true. So, um, it's trying to keep it in reality in your mind, because because time flies by so fast. If if you know you're doing something so much that you love, and well for me it does. And uh, being in my first film, it was just incredible. I was absolutely anxious. I was excited. I was absolutely nervous. Um, but I just try to be as much myself as possible and keep my feet on the ground. Um, and by working with opposites, Keisha Kelso Hughes, who was the youngest, one of the youngest people to be nominated for an Oscar. Um, that was amazing, just to see her experience and her, her talent. Um, I was very privileged to be here. Go, 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 I'm a Power Rangers massive fan, and I've just seen that there's a new film. Um, Coming, which I'm actually like so excited. So, and I heard Captain Planet is also happening. Like, these cool films coming out. And um, yeah, I mean, it was awesome. I, it's you know these things that you can do, and um, you know, uh, I'm I've been grateful enough and, and fortunate enough to be able to do these some of these cool things. And um, you know, I still like to take every door and every opportunity that I can. And um, that was just a door that was open and I could take. So I think my friend who actually was on Queen of Carthage is now on Game of Thrones. So I'm asking her if I can be on Game of Thrones, even if it's just a dead person with an arrow. Just say, like, just one of the thousand dead people. Like, get me on Game of Thrones and I'm a happy man. I paint through the atmosphere for love that was never there.
I've had a few funny moments. I guess they're more embarrassing, actually. They're not really funny. Like, it's always, I think my first, my first gig with Alifaba in Munich, um, it was incredible. I was absolutely nervous. And um, I love hot food. So I had a massive salad. I put all this hot sauce on the, on the, on the salad. And then I ate it. And before going on stage, my first gig in Germany, I was running to the toilet because I, <laughs> I don't know whether to say this, I was doing the business. And I couldn't, I, and I was getting, getting called, Graham, Graham, you get on stage. I quickly run on stage and everything's burning, like my, my mouth, my, my bottom and everything. And I was singing the song, first song, like, far away, far away. And it just, everything was burning and <laughs> it wasn't really, um, it was a funny story afterwards. I guess it wasn't really funny during what was going on. All along she moves Into a broken paradise Surrounded by the colored lights On and on she moves We've had like incredible ones like Nova Rock when we warmed up the stage for Red Hot Chili Peppers and they were like my band when I was a teenager and, and going through primary school and um, and it was just crazy. We were watching the Euro Cup football and here they are just warming up right next to us watching the football. And you're just sitting there going, shaking. And these guys were my whole childhood. Yeah, 2017 for me is, is going to be a very big year. Um, actually, it seems quite daunting thinking about it, but there's uh, great new collaborations coming out, uh, a few little sneaky things that we're doing, and um, I'll be starting to write on, on the second album. Um, so we're just building on the show. Uh, this is our first year. Of, we're going up to 80 shows this year, so now next year we're just going to pump it up a bit more um, and just put my head down, work my ass off.